Okay, welcome to Electron Line, and now we're going to do an equation that has a radical in it. And the rule of thumb is that if there's a single radical, you want to move that to one side of the equation and everything else to the other side of the equation. So let's try that. So we're going to move the 4 across. That gives us the square root of 5 minus x is equal to x minus 1 minus 4. Remember, the sign changes when you cross equal sign. Let's combine like terms on the right side. So we have the square root of 5 minus x is equal to x minus 5. And the next step is we're going to square both sides. So we square the left side and we square the right side. So there we get 5 minus x is equal to x squared minus 10x plus 25. And now we move everything over to one side of the equation, set it equal to 0 on the other side of the equation. So 0 is equal to x squared minus, when we bring the minus x over, that becomes a plus x. So that's minus 10x plus x plus 25 and the plus 5 becomes a minus 5 on this side combining like terms we get 0 equals x squared minus 9x and plus 20. Now at this point we may want to try to factor that see if that's possible we're looking for two numbers when you multiply you get positive 20 and when you add them you get minus 9 it looks like minus 4 and minus 5 might do the trick so 0 equals x minus 4 times x minus 5 and that works <clears throat> so uh, now that means when we multiply these two together and we get 0 one or the other must be 0 so therefore x minus 4 equals 0 or x minus 5 equals 0 which means that x equals 4 or x equals 5 now before we say that that is our solution let's go back to our original equation and make sure that we have no violation of any rules if you plug in the 5, we get 5 minus 5, that is 0. So 4 equals 5 minus 1, that works, that is correct. And when we plug in the 4, we get 5 minus 4, that is 1. So the square root of 1 plus 4 is 5. And 4 minus 1 is, wow, that may not be the same thing. So let's try that. Let's go do that again. So let x equals 4, and let's plug that in there. So we have the square root of 5 minus 4 plus 4 is that equal to question mark 4 minus 1 and so this gives us the square root of um, this gives us the square root of 1 plus 4 equals 4 minus 1 the square root of 1 is 1 plus 4 is that question mark equal to 4 minus 1 and you say that is not equal 5 does not equal 3 so therefore x equal 4 is not a valid answer for this particular problem so therefore x equals 5 would be the proper solution to this problem the reason why we need to check the answer is because when we square both sides we sometimes introduce a solution that is not valid to the problem in this case that's not valid so x equals 5 is the proper solution